Oh, well, hello there. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're rude. What's going on, guys? Back at it with another Remnant from the Ashes video. Now, with that being said, this is also going to be the last Remnant from the Ashes video. After I finished the story, I decided to do a little quick brief walkthrough of every single boss in the game and with that being said this boss that I'm gonna do in this video just happens to be the last one on the list of bosses here in the game so because of that once this video is done we're actually finally complete with this game and it's actually a bittersweet moment because I really really enjoyed this game but all good things must come to an end I suppose but with that being said Let's get to the nitty gritty about this mission or, or dungeon slash boss and everything. So if you can see on the top left corner, it says the capillary, the capillary. I can't pronounce that word, so I apologize on that. But the cap, the capillary or whatever, this is the prerequisite dungeon before you get to another area called the Musk Forge, uh, which is the location where the boss resides. And the boss in question here is the thrall the reason why i wanted to save this one for last is because this boss awards you with my favorite uh weapon mod which we'll get to once we defeat him but with that being said let's go ahead and go through the capillary or whatever and see what kind of enemy variations there is here so that you guys can have a good idea once you guys get here for yourself so with that being said let's jump into it all right so let's go ahead and jump over here jump over here there's a lot of people with like cowboy hats and stuff like that they're not people they're actually like like residents and stuff but the enemy variation in this dungeon is actually really cool i really enjoy it a lot actually with the exception of one thing yeah once i see it i will show you but there that right there i fucking hate those things They're not hard or difficult or anything like that, but the problem with them is they sit so still and they hide behind corners and stuff that it's very easy for them to sneak up on you and they do this yelling thing that... Oh, fuck. See what I mean? They do this yelling thing. That yelling thing that you actually saw right there is a pain in the ass because it literally, like, makes you not be able to move or anything like that. Oh! Lucky for me, I'm too strong for this guy. I hear somebody. I guess not. Am I crazy? I hear somebody, but I'm not sure where it's coming from. Well, he can have that. That's for sure. Go away, please. There he is. That's the guy I'm hearing. Go away, please. Who's coming? Ah, one of these guys. Whoa. This place, I remember the first time I went through it, man. I had, like, the hardest time in the world, man. What was that? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Let's get him with some radiation. There we go. At least it killed him. That big old guy, dude. Oh, shit. They're everywhere, dude. They need to back up off before they get blasted, homie. I'm always scared to go around corners in this dungeon, dude, because I swear, those little screamer beetle people or whatever, man, they're... They're a pain, bro. So I got to be like careful before I go anywhere. See, that's the guy with the cowboy hat. They look pretty cool, actually. Uh-oh. I hear somebody. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ollie, ollie, oxen free, or whatever the saying is. Ah! Stop yelling. 
Did anybody ever tell you that it's rude to yell at other people? Especially people you never met before. Oh, that's another screamer. <clears throat> well, they killed... My little bees killed him. Dude, I juked him literally just in time. Let's go ahead and take one of these. By the way, we're playing with my main character. This dude is literally maxed on every single trait in the game. He's got 32 traits and he's maxed on all... Oh shit, on all the traits. Ah! I don't know why I'm screaming, man. They're not going to be able to kill me. Look at that guy. Alright, goodbye. Ah! This game's too easy. Uh oh, see, he got me with the screaming. That for that, you get blasted, homie. It literally, like, freezes you, dude. Ah! They get staggered if you shoot them in the mouth when they're screaming. But I'm so OP, dude. It doesn't even... It doesn't even matter, to be honest, for me. Are we done with the dungeon? Yes, we are. So, from here, we actually go to another area called the Musk Forge. So, let's go ahead and go there. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and sit at this place and bask in the ambiance. Dude, tell me that doesn't look freaking cool, dude. How it's all like the corrosion's just going into the air and there's like a swirl in the sky, dude. That looks pretty badass, actually. But the boss is literally right there. You can see him through the fog. But you see, we're at the Fusk Morg, uh, Musk Forge, so let's go ahead and go inside. Oh, well, hello there. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're rude. That dude likes to teleport. Hit him with some radiation. Oh. And he likes to call in assistance too. Oh crap. Oh crap. Leave me alone. Where'd he go? I'll do that for the uh for the ads. This dude's literally almost dead. Oh, he's right here. Goodbye. Woo! That was literally really, really simple. Dude, look at my corrosion, dude. If I got hit one more time, I probably would have gotten corroded. Not that it really matters, but let's go ahead and go to Ward 13 and I'll explain to you exactly what you get by defeating this boss. All right, guys. So I decided not to go to Ward 13 and just be right here at the, at the queen or whatever. And... Just explain to you exactly what you get. So by defeating the Thrall, you end up getting a crafting item called Swarm Tusk. And essentially what that does is that if you take it to Ward 13, you're able to craft a weapon mod called Swarm, which is what you guys have been seeing pretty much the entire Let's Play uh, here on the channel and walkthroughs and everything, man. I actually have it right here on my Chicago typewriter. If you see on the right, it says Alicia's uh, Insects that will seek after enemies within 20 meters and repeatedly attack dealing 15 corrosion damage per hit and it lasts for 20 seconds now the th it doesn't sound very like great at first glance but the thing is that it's not just one it's called swarm for a reason it's actually multiple hits multiple insects that are hitting individuals at any given time so you're actually doing multiple 20 or, or 15 corrosive damage over and over and over and over and over over a period of 20 seconds and it ends up being really really effective and on top of that every time it hits it actually works as uh, an actual hit that you do so it's also building up your mod power as well uh, and on top of that 
it's able to do critical hits and head damage as well. So this weapon mod is really, really strong in my opinion. And it's among the reason why I hardly ever take it off. It's seriously an amazing weapon mod. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video, you guys. I absolutely enjoyed filming every single one of these videos for you guys. This is video number 32, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And it's 32 videos that I actually had a blast filming. So, if you guys enjoyed this series as I did, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the, on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next series. Deuces.